Hi guys, it's Miss Debbie from the Appomattox Regional Library System. And today I'm gonna do a craft video where I show you three different ways to make beautiful ornaments with beads and pipe cleaners. We will start off with a pipe cleaner candy cane. Then we will do a pipe cleaner snowflake and we will end with a pretty Christmas bulb. Start off by putting a bead about an inch down on your pipe cleaner and then pull the pipe cleaner back through, creating a loop. You can cut off any excess at this point. This will make it to where your beads don't fall off your pipe cleaner. Next, start making a pattern on your pipe cleaner. I chose to do AA, B, AA, but you can do any pattern you like. This is a great time to talk about patterns with your child. Now you can make your candy cane any size you like, and you can either shape it as you go or wait to the end to shape it. I decided to shape mine as I went so I could really see how big it was going to be. You can make a super small one or you can make a great big one. You're just gonna need about an inch at the end of your pipe cleaner to tie it off. So I got to where I wanted mine to end and then I pulled my pipe cleaner back through making another loop and then I cut off the excess. This made it to where my pipe cleaner wouldn't let my beads fall off. To make your snowflake, you're gonna wanna start by taking three pipe cleaners and sliding a bead into the middle of all three of them. Next, spread out your pipe cleaners to where you have six points for your snowflake. Next, you can put your beads on. You can do a pattern, you can do them all the same. I chose to do a rainbow on each of my points of my snowflake because I had rainbow beads. You can use as many beads as you like on each point. I just recommend using the same amount on each point and using at least eight on each of your points. When you get to the end, you can do the same method we used on the candy cane. Just go ahead and make the loop and pull it tight to stop your beads from moving. At the end of this, I'll cut off all the excess and show you how I finish it. When you do your last one or whichever one you want to be your top, go ahead and make the loop and then push the rest of it back through until you have just a pretty little loop. So you're just shoving the excess pipe cleaner on that one piece back in to make your loop. And this step is totally optional. You can also just put a hook through any of your other pieces. Now we're gonna make a Christmas bulb. And to do that, just go ahead and start like you did on your snowflake. Put a bead into the middle of three pipe cleaners and spread them out. The major difference between the bulb and the snowflake is that one, we're going to close the bulb and two, you're going to need to put a lot more beads on there. I recommend doing at least, I did 12 for this one. I recommend doing closer to 16 or 20 just to make your bulb nice and big. And I did my rainbow pattern again, but you can definitely do any pattern you like. You can do it all the same color. This is a really great craft to talk about patterns with kids once again. When you finally put all your beads on your Christmas bulb, what you're going to do is gather up your pipe cleaners and you're going to force them through another bead. Parents, you might have to help your kids with this part. And I chose to do two beads at the top just to secure it. And once I was done with that, I went ahead and made a loop and tied it off so my beads had a nice way to hang on my tree. Hope you guys enjoyed.